Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I am going to continue playing with uh, creating a bloom with regular acrylic paints, not house paints. Lots of other artists have been doing this um, and I hate house paint, so I'm excited to uh, get some decent blooms, hopefully, uh, and not have um, that paint that sticks to my hands. I hate wearing gloves, so um, I'm gonna walk you through my colors. But before I do that, this is a 24 by 24 inch ceramic tile. It's left over from a, uh, a home renovation project. I have four of them I found in the, uh, the storage room. So um, I'm wondering if I can create like a little coffee table out of this or something. So I'm going to paint on this tile uh, and do one large bloom. That is my goal. We'll see how it works out. I'll show you no matter what it looks like. And I am gonna do um, a couple of different things. Instead of layering my colors in puddles on top of each other, I'm going to layer them in a cup and I'm going to do a ring pour. Um, and um, after I put down my pillow paint. Um, and one other thing that I'm doing differently is this right here, this mix is Chrome Acryl Acrylic Essentials in white and DecoArt Satin Enamel. So this is a cloud mix. Um, so I'm hoping to get some cloudy effects when I do the blowout. Um, and my hair dryer, I'm not very good at it when I don't have the diffuser on it. And because this is a larger surface, I'm going to use the diffuser. Um, I think I, I feel like I have more control when I do it that way. Um, I have gone ahead and used uh, some uh, isopropyl alcohol on this tile just to make sure there are no, there's no grease or oil or anything like that on it, no fingerprints. Um, and so there shouldn't be any issues with the paint sticking to the tile. Uh, so the rest of my colors, this is a mix of uh, TLP ore and Harvest Gold. So it's not as vibrant as the uh, Harvest Gold and it's not as um, soft and delicate as the ore. So it's kind of an in-between color. Uh, this is Amsterdam, so two paint. This is Amsterdam Cobalt Blue Ultramarine. This is Amsterdam Thalo Green. This is TLP Billabong, which is one of my favorite colors. And then this is a mix of several different TLPs. I know that there's sapphire in there, but I don't remember the other two colors. I know there's at least three. Um, I have mixed, oh, and then my pillow paint um, is my slop bucket here. This, these are all blues and, and blacks and, and that kind of thing. So it is a nice, really dark blue gray color. Um, and I think these colors are gonna be beautiful on top of it. It's kind of an oceany, beachy inspiration. Um, and this paint is the thickest layer. This is my pillow paint. It's very, very thick. And all of the colors that I'll be putting on top of it are a medium consistency. So that does leave a mound on a mound, but it disappears fairly quickly within like two or three seconds. And then the final layer is the cell activator um, and it is the thinnest layer. So there are three different consistencies. This is uh, three parts Australian flow trawl to one part Amsterdam lamp black. And all of these are mixed with my regular pouring medium, which is two parts flow trawl, US flow trawl. Uh, one part PVA glue and one part gloss varnish. And I think I'm ready to get started. Yes, let's have some fun. I'm gonna move all of this out of the way because this tile is huge <laughs> and I have made sure it is level and it is as centered as I can get it. Um, I, I couldn't flip it over in order to put it on my spinner. So it's as, as close to centered as I can make it. But if it's a little off center, that is okay when I do the pour. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put down my pillow paint, put a big puddle right here in the center. We'll spin that out a little bit. Mm. Gosh, I hope that's centered. Hmm. 
move that just a little bit. Eh, okay. That should be fine. I'll add a little more there to the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and spread my outer edges, especially these corners. I'll put some paint there right away. Save a little bit in case I need it. And I'm just going to use my palette knife to give us a nice wet surface to work on. So these paints slide around easily. This tile is heavy, so much heavier than a canvas. But because it's left uh, left over from another project, it was also free. <laughs> I love it when I find a, a way to save money and the environment when I can. Repurpose, reuse, recycle, right? Uh-huh, here we go. Ooh, this is gonna be a big bloom, gosh, I hope. I've only done a couple of these. I hope I'm ready for a big surface, but I normally work on large surfaces, so I feel so constrained by working on smaller surfaces. And, you know, I like to be fearless. I don't always expect a masterpiece. Sometimes the goal is to learn. Okay. That should be good. I was watching, doing a little research about blooms on large canvases and Lisa Marvin Art has a fantastic video about all kinds of tips about doing blooms on large, large surfaces, large blooms. And one of the things she said, because I was worried about getting the right amount of paint. And one of the things she pointed out was that um, you want your colors to take up, that you pour or puddle in the middle, you want your colors to take up about a third of the canvas before you blow it out. So that gives me a really good indication of how much paint to use. So a 24 by 24 inch canvas normally would take about 20 ounces of paint. And if I only, uh, especially in a thick consistency, so if I want to only use a third of that, I'm gonna try and pour about seven or eight ounces. I wouldn't mind if the, um, the edges of this come off of the edge, the edges of the blowout. But I would like to keep quite a bit of it in the center, but if it comes off here and there, that would be great, that'd be fine. All right, now let's layer our cup. So I'm going to start with the cloud mix in the bottom because I want that black cell activator to go on top of the cloud mix. So the first color in is the last color out. So that should end up being in the center. And I think I want, hmm, what color do I want beside it? I'm going to put this, nope, I'm going to put the, the gold mix in here next. There we go. Yep, and then we're gonna go with the cobalt, and then the billabong, and then that phthalo green. Thalo green can take over, so I'm gonna be very careful with it. Um, it is a transparent color, but it also has a very low density, so it's, um, so it kind of floats on the top and kind of takes over. All right, so that's pretty good. I want to end with the, I've used all of my colors. I want to end with the white again. So I'm going to go back in with more of the gold on top of that. And the cobalt. Billabong, and then the 
Hex. Okay. This is a 12 ounce cup. I've got about 10 ounces. There's probably more than I needed, but we're gonna go with it. I, sounds like we're gonna cover the whole surface. <laughs> so let's go ahead and paint and have some fun. That is a beautiful rain pour. I'm happy with that. Okay. Is that about a third of the canvas? Maybe a little more. And now the cell activator is a third of the pour. So we want about that much cell activator. That's probably too much. All right, let's get all of these things out of the way. Torch one more time.
so happy. This cloud mix worked out perfectly. It's so smoky. Oh, it worked so well with these colors. That black cell activator gave me some gray, but it also gave me cells and lacing all over the place. The TLPs, you can already see the, the shimmer and the glimmer. Look at these really cool cells that we got out here. The Gold is flashing different places, giving some warmth with all these cool colors. I love it. Look at that section there. Wow. I'm so happy I went big. Go big or go home. Woohoo! <laughs> these colors work so well together. And I like how I blew it out also. I had so much more control with the diffuser on my hair blower. And because it was a larger surface, I was able to use it, I think. But I also went all the way around once with the hair dryer, And then I went back in starting from the center and blew it out again to give me those kind of inner petals. So it looks like a layered flower. So nice, really happy I did that. And um, yeah, I think this is cool. Cloud mix on a bloom, it works. Um, I'm, unfortunately, I will not have dry results for this in this video, but I'll make sure and show you in the next one. And I believe the next one is going to be this coming Saturday because all of the instructors at the Fluid Art Experience Conference, which is happening at the end of May in Asheville, North Carolina, we're all doing a premiere train together uh, with our the videos of the pieces that we'll be giving away at the dinner gala. So make sure you uh, check my community tab. I'll have the playlist there. Uh, it, it, I'm not sure what the, of the timing, but it will be on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'm hosting the Earth Day collaboration uh, with more than 20 artists from all over the world. It's uh, broken up into two days, Sunday and Monday. I'm kicking things off uh, on Sunday. Um, and the theme this year is recycle, reuse, repurpose, and reimagine. So we're gonna talk about all the ways that we try and save the planet and still make 
great art. So I hope you uh, stick around and, and come check that out also. So um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless.